<laughs> what's up what's up youtube big b here with ironclad rc thank you guys for riding with me today we're at the park got the old wraith out got some extended links on the back uh handmade homemade extended links and i will show you guys how to make in a later video but for now we're gonna have some fun we're an arma 3s brushless motor and ESC. It's not good for crawling, but it's good for bashing around like this. I don't know what to pick out for my sensor. Oh. I don't know what to pick out for my sensor ESC. So taking my time. Yep, got the uh, got the Mudslinger 2s on here. Mudslinger 2 XLs. Definitely got to go censored with this. My little bashing session has concluded. I broke a front link <laughs> and I popped the shock out. So it is D U N D. -U -N -D. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. What happened? <laughs> Yeah, we were out at the park today just messing around bashing around doing a couple tree flips like you guys seen and uh, Yeah, we popped the shock out the perch got that fixed. No problem. No breaks, but we did break a front lower link So uh, we're gonna address that today gonna, gonna make some custom links ironclad style uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it how I do it some e-revo rod ends uh, Let's see, here they are. E-Revo rod ends with the balls that we'll be using and some <clears throat> four millimeter, long four millimeter screws that I'm gonna use as my studs to attach the rod end. So, uh, so yeah, 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 we're gonna get, we're gonna get into it. Oh, this wheel, this wheel right here is always hard. Oh, you about bust myself in the face. Yeah, we got the E-Revo rod ends. Uh, this has 12 balls and 12 rod ends. Uh, this is part number 5347. You can also use the GTR shock rod ends. 
I, I like the E-Revo rod ends because it uses a larger diameter screw. Um, the GTR shock rod ends is a 2.5 millimeter and the E-Revo is a 4 millimeter shock rod end. We've got our tap and our drill bits. So we're basically ready to go. Get your punch, find the center of your rod. So you can uh, get a little pilot started for your drill. Now we're going to drill it. I don't even use a drill press or nothing. I just kind of uh, freehand it. Got a four millimeter tap here, and that was a 964 drill bit. Hopefully, that's going to be the right size bit. It's a little small, but we want a good tight fit. All right, and you just uh, tap, tap your rod so you can screw your stud in. Now, I'm using just some old old broken broken screws bent screws cut the bad spot off uh, that's what I'm gonna use for my rods now they make a a stud just like the ones found in your center skid plate that has a a hex on the end uh, but just I'm not even gonna worry about it just gonna use a pair of pliers to drive it in and screw on my rod in so it ain't hard it ain't got to be precise so 964 is perfect for four millimeter tap all right I'm gonna get that out put our stud in doing it the way I'm doing it use a pair of vice grips to screw a screw your stud in all right bottomed out now I'm gonna cut off the the bad spot that I just messed up here with my drill. Like so. I'm going to round the end off a little bit so it don't mess up my rod end. Now it and screw the nut on there make sure the threads are opened up. So you don't mess up your brand new rod in. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Alright. Now, we're going to put our rod in device. Just to hold it for us. Gonna drop an eye, a screw in there like so, so we can line the eyes up and get a proper measurement. Like that. See that? Make sure it's like flush. Get you a marker or something and mark where the other eye is gonna be. So it's gonna be about right here. You see that? Alright, so we know our other eye is gonna be here that's where the eye is going to be so we're going to get a another rod end set it right on our rod eye to eye so that's where our eye wants is going to be so we're going to cut our rod where the rod end meets the the linkage rod so right there 
double check. So we're going to turn it around just just to just to be sure. All right, like so. So that is exactly lined up. Yep, and then we put it right up against it. Like so. So, yep, that's where we're going to cut it. Just a, like a millimeter longer. Plus, you got to take in consideration you're going to be kind of bending this rod. So, once you bend your rod, it, it'll actually shorten up the distance from your eye to your eye. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and measure this out and mark it. So if this is the proper length, once I, once I put my bend in it, both of my, my, my rods will be like exactly the same length. You want everything this, the same on both sides, exactly the same. So that's going to be my cut for my second lower rod. I'll show it to you once I get it all, all put together. Got our link made. Check the length. All right, so it's just a hair longer, and that's exactly what we want just a little bit longer. That way, when we put our bend in it. That will actually give us the right length in ge geometry. So you could use something like this, like a tube bender to bend your rods, like so. Or you can kind of put it in your vise, mark where you want your bend at, and just kind of bend it with a little bit of pressure or a little pressure and a hammer. And you can get your bends right. So we're going to duplicate this <clears throat> onto this other piece. Make sure they're the right length exactly. So I got to take a little bit off of mine, just a little. Got both of them finished up here. They're both the same length. You guys see that? They're both exactly the same. Let's put it up against our stock. So yeah, it's the, just a hair, just a hair longer. So I'm thinking once we make our little bend to get these lined up with our axle mount and the center skid plate mount i think they'll be perfect the perfect length so so since we can't bend our linkage right at the very end like they have here we're gonna have to find a good place to bend it and the hardest part about this whole the whole custom linkage is getting your bends the same for both sides that's the toughest part my opinion literally it only took me 10 minutes to make these seriously after i found got all my materials out got everything set up 10 minutes you could make yourself two two link straight linkages and they look nice they're nice looking i think i kind of got ripped off by traxxas you're supposed to get 12 balls and 12 rod ends <laughs> i got 12 rod ends and eight balls so they got me <laughs> i'm gonna do a giveaway on my next video so whoever's watching this ring the bell to get notified because i will be doing a giveaway uh, coming up on my 500 subscribers and it should be my next one or uh the following video but I am going to be giving away something. 
and it's a pretty cool little something. I'm excited to give it to somebody. Uh, I just got it. I, I used it once, and I'm going to give it away. So stay tuned. Stick, you know, just kind of keep an eye out for my new videos. Because I am going to give a lucky person a little something something. Alright, so we got we got them on, we got them on there, it looks pretty good, looks pretty good. I'm going to put one little bend in it, uh, see if we can't get a little bit higher clearance uh, out of this link setup. Alright, so I'm going to try a new technique. I'm going to set it in the, where my line is. I've got a screw, see the screw I got up here? I might put a, a nut on it to keep them lined up perfect. I'm gonna bend both of them, boom, at the same time. So they're both the same. We're gonna try it. So you see, I got the nut in up here. Probably should do one down here, but it'll be in the vise. Um, I've got my, my rods lined up, top and bottom. We're gonna set it in the little vise here. I'm gonna use my eyes for reference to make sure that they're both like uh, the same angle. They're, they're round, so it's a little misleading. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of put some pressure on it and tap them. See that? Got a little bend in it already. A little bit of pressure and tap it. This is aluminum, so you shouldn't have to have to heat it up. All right, a little bend, huh? So we're gonna put it on the truck. See how it looks. Can I get an idea of? Of uh, if you know if we need to make another bend or if this is good, uh, I'm sure there's some kind of science, you know, geometry, that, you know, linkage geometry and all that stuff uh, behind the way that they make all these linkages. But we are uh, we're we're freestyling here, y'all. We're freestyling, huh? Have fun doing it. Have fun. You know, if you want to put a damn uh, S bend in it or, or, or hell, bend somebody's name in your bottom linkage, do it. It's your, your truck. Have fun. Hell, if you want to put flex seal all over your axles, do it. <laughs> oh, they had a live the other night. Harley, I think. Harley Designs. and <laughs> Somebody, he bought, I guess he bought a used truck. I kind of called it toward the end, but... <laughs> I guess they had a, a hole in one of their axles, the previous owner, and somebody had put flex seal glue all, all over the axle. And, oh, man, they were <laughs> they were having fun with it. It was funny. All right, let's see here. Yeah, it looks good. See, it's right perfectly in line with the drive shaft. Got us maybe a five or six extra millimeters of clearance. Uh, it looks like we're going to have good flexibility on the balls, on the rod ends itself. Everything looks to be tight. Uh, I think I'm going to roll with that, you guys. Huh? That don't look bad. Yeah. All right. Uh, I guess really we'll just drive it and kind of see how it works, how it, how it plays out. You know, if I see any, feel any differences in the ride or in the performance, then we'll, if, if there is a difference, if I could feel a noticeable difference, then I will definitely address it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. It looks good. It looks good. It turned out nice, huh? All polished up. It'll look like the back soon enough. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fix this uh, back up, get it back straightened out, get these old long links off, get it back to a stock wheelbase. Uh, 
they turned out nice. That little extra bend I put in it, it actually gave me about an extra eight millimeters, uh, extra clearance, give or take. But got them all polished up. Didn't turn out too bad. I hope you guys, hope you guys learned something. Hope it could help you out with your hobby. Now, now this isn't the only way to make links, custom links for your truck. Uh, you could use brake line and all thread rod method with with the same type rod ends. Uh, you can use like a lathe and turn down the ends, thread right onto the actual link itself, and put your ends on. Uh, there, there are several different methods, but but this is my opinion. Pretty pretty much the easiest way to go. Uh, you're, it's the best your best bet to 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 get a nice looking linkage made. But I hope this helped you guys out with your hobby. I, I had a guy ask me if I was gonna make a video for custom links. One of my subscribers. Uh, so here here you go, buddy. I I I can't remember your name. I wish uh, I could. I'm like a woman absent-minded forgetful <laughs> my wife's not around <laughs> so this is the stock length and the next clip will be the extended link so yeah yeah y'all subscribe like comment blog the blog the blah uh, ring that bell to get notified for future videos, future builds, future giveaway. You guys, uh, ring that bell, ring that bell. Anyway, anyway, enough jabbering. Big B here with Ironclad RC. Thank you guys for watching. Channel where we tinker test into everything RC. We'll see you next time.